YouTube, YouTube, what's happening? It's your boy Charm back again with another video. And can you guess what I got here? Look what I got here. Check that out. You know what it is? Y'all know what it is? No? No? It's a couple of pay settlements I got for the last two weeks. Um, Cisco pays every two weeks. But every Monday, they give you a breakdown of your hourly pay for the previous week versus what you would have made on dip pay. And uh, I got the last two weeks in here. So we're gonna go over that real quick. But before we get to that, I'm gonna need y'all to uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Um, yeah, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free. You know, follow you get the chance to follow me on my little trucking adventure. You know, find out what I've done before in the past, what I'm currently doing, and what I have planned for the future. Um, we're gonna talk about we get to talk about uh, all kinds of stuff, man. Like uh, the company I'm currently working for, Cisco. Talk about some of my past companies, uh, like heck, <laughs> Western Express, Hogan Transport. Uh, Big Blue Trucking, uh, U.S. Express, uh, Jordan Carriers, you know, like I've said, I've done regional, OTR, flatbed, dry van, reefer van, uh, and end up. I've also done a little bit of LTO, and that's a whole different story. We'll talk, you know, talk about that in a minute. But right now, I'm doing food service. I'm doing food service. Um, Actually, just a quick update. This is actually my second week uh, going solo by myself. Uh, I'm not on a route per se. They're doing something now where everybody's got a bid for a route every single day. Um, don't know why they're doing that. But as you can imagine, you know, all the guys with the sonority, of course, they're going to keep their routes that they, you know, normally have because those are the routes that they like. Uh I've been bouncing around. I actually had, today, I had a route, they call it the south side, south side of Pittsburgh. It's a route that I did last week. So uh, when I pulled up, I already knew where everything went. I knew how to get to the places. I knew where everything went. I already knew where to park at these places. And that was a big thing for me, is trying to find out, you know, find places to park <laughs> in like downtown Pittsburgh, south side of Pittsburgh, Station Square and everything. But I guess at Cisco, they really don't care. As long as you uh, get them cases delivered and you don't park in front of a fire hydrant or like a handicap space. That's what they told us this morning, actually. They don't care. If you get a ticket, they'll pay it, you know? Uh, so this week, actually, so far, is going pretty good. They actually called me off on Monday. And, you know, some of the drivers are speculating that they're going to have me work Tuesday through Saturday. Which makes sense because today they put up a bid saying they need 12 drivers for Saturday. And, you know, me being at the bottom of the list, I'm more than likely going to be working Saturday. Uh, which is fine with me. You know, it's not going to be an all-day thing. Plus, you know, I get, I'll get to make up those hours for Monday. So, yeah, let's talk a little bit about some pay. And sorry, y'all, I'm not that tech savvy yet to where I can go ahead and put it up on the screen. So we're going to do this the old fashioned way. You heard me? Let's do this the old fashioned way where I'm going to flip, the, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to just show y'all on camera uh, what we got popping on these little uh, weekly uh, pay sheets here. So give me a second. I'm going to be right back with y'all. Okay, and we're back. So, as you can see, there. this is actually uh, my second one that they've given me. It's the first one for the pay period, though. And you see there's not really much on here at the moment. And uh, you see what my weekly dip pay incentive was, was like zeros all down the board. Um, but my hourly pay, as you can see, I worked 59 point two three hours at twenty six sixty five an hour right total hours so for my straight time hours I got you know thirty nine point nine nine straight hours 
at 2665. I got 19.24 at 2665 times one and a half. So for my straight time, I got $1,065.73. For my overtime, I got $769.12 for a total of $1,834.84. Now, this was for the week before last, right? Now, we'll go with last week here. Last week, so this is the second week of the pay period. See, I got some little action popping off over here. You know, tell, talking about all the different uh, cases delivered uh, for, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, four a day, 549, second day, 252. Uh, I don't know where they get this 2,667 for my third day, but okay, whatever. Um, 185 for the fourth and 235 for the fifth. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think they combined days there because I worked a Saturday too. I worked six days that week and, uh, I definitely, I definitely didn't do 2,600 cases in a day. So anyways, um, we're going to scroll over to here. Scroll over to here. I had for that week 63.98 hours. Right? That was my total hours worked. So, wait, what? Yeah, I'm a little confused, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyways, this is this was in my dip incentive. My dip incentive would have worked out, however they do this math, would have worked out to $19.51 an hour. But at Cisco, Cisco Pittsburgh anyways, you'll never make below $26.65 an hour. So with dip pay, you'll make whichever is higher, your hourly rate or your dip pay uh, incentive rate. So that's, you know, that's how they do it at, at Cisco. I don't know how they calculate it. Please don't ask me. They never went over that with me, any of it at all. Um, so for my straight time hours, 40.01 at 26.65 for a total of $1,066.27. For my overtime hours, I had 23.97 overtime hours at 26.65 times one and a half for a total of $958.20 for a grand total of $2,024.47, right? Now, when you combine the two together, you will get a gross of $3,888. That's what my check will be gross. So, as y'all can see, um, the pay here isn't that bad. Yeah, sure, of course, you know, you're going to work. But the pay here is not too shabby. Now, I don't know where all of y'all live at. I live in Ohio, northeastern Ohio. The cost of living here is not very high. I mean, it's not the lowest, but it's also not very high. So I actually make pretty good money for the area that I live in. Um, actually, most of my trucking jobs, I was making pretty good money for the area I live in. Except for the Hogan Save-A-Lot account. That job didn't pay anything. Um, but yeah, man. So, I mean, it's not $2,000 a week, but... That's not going to, you know, working like that. Well, the one week, yeah, 2000 but uh, can I sustain that is the question. Can I sustain 63 hours a week is the question. As, and so far, the answer is probably going to be no for this week, maybe. Depends on how these uh, next few days go, because tomorrow's already Thursday. I got Thursday, Friday, and I know they're going to have me work Saturday, so um, we'll see. But... You know, if I if I can maintain a gross of two thousand dollars a week, you know, times that by fifty one. Actually, yeah, 
51 because we don't really, yeah. Anyways, yeah, times that by 51, that's over $100,000. So, y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. We making a little bit of money, a little bit of money. Uh, I didn't believe it when I when they first told me, you know, you can make up to uh, six figures. I didn't believe them because, you know, they are a trucking, they are a company, and they want to get employees, so they'll tell you anything. And, uh, you know, I see for myself that you can actually make that. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say a hundred, you know, six figures, but you can get, you know, a high, high five figures. So, you know. For me, that's a pretty good thing. I like that. I like it a lot. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I got issues. I got issues. But uh, it's your boy Char, man. I just wanted to give y'all that quick little, that quick little uh, video. Uh, I know I had been promising, you know, look a little, you know, show a little bit of pay before. But like I said, the the one paycheck, it was like half of a week because it was like orientation, and then you know, a full week, a full like 60 hour week. So the check really wasn't that much to show. It it was pretty much like the, uh, that first statement I showed y'all was like 1800 or whatever. But, uh, yeah, man, it's your boy Charm. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already went over and checked out my man, I am Anthony TV, y'all go over and check out his channel. He's got some good content when it comes to food service and, and truck driving in general. He's going to let y'all know what's going on with these different companies, man. He even got comparison videos, you know, of different companies and uh, of the type of routes that he likes to do. So go over there, subscribe to my man's channel, like some videos. He's like, like I said, when I, you know, thought about doing food service, he's one of the channels I started watching along with uh, RLC TV and uh, Ill Wise and a few others. I can't remember the name right off the bat. But y'all get what I'm saying, man. It's your boy, Charm. Got any questions for me? Ask me down in the comment section. I'm trying my best to get back, you know, and answer these questions. If I don't have the answers myself, I will try to get those answers for you. Scratch that. I will get those answers for you. All you got to do is ask, man. But it's your boy, Charm. I'm out. Peace.